Hello everyone, today we are going to study the topic Ultra High Temperature Pasteurization. Ultra High Temperature Pasteurization is a pasteurization technique where the product is heated at 140 degrees Celsius for a time period of 2 seconds. Okay. Uh, the importance of Ultra High Temperature Pasteurization is that USD pasteurized milk can be stored without refrigeration. Normally we have to keep milk in refrigerator but USD processed milk can be stored without refrigeration. Okay. And also similar to any other pasteurization technique, um, through USD pasteurization we can convert perishable milk into a shelf stable product that is a product with higher shelf life okay ultra high temperature pasteurization can be done in two different ways direct heating and indirect heating as the name indicates in direct heating milk and steam are in direct contact with each other uh, what is the purpose of steam steam is used for heating the milk okay in direct heating they are in direct contact but in indirect heating they are not in direct contact okay Direct heating system can again be classified into steam injection type and steam infusion type. So, what is steam injection and steam infusion? Steam injection type. It is actually a steam into milk arrangement. That is, here we are injecting steam into milk. Uh, a steam injector is its main part. This is a steam injector and milk is introduced from one side and from the other side we are injecting high pressure steam. That is, we are injecting steam into milk. That is why it is called as steam injection type. Okay. Uh, within the steam injector, the steam and milk gets mixed with each other. We know steam is at a higher temperature and milk is at a lower temperature. As a result of this, heat is transferred from steam into milk. Okay. Since heat is transferred into the milk, milk undergoes pasteurization and heat is removed from the steam. We know when heat is removed from a vapor, it undergoes condensation to form a liquid. Similarly, here steam undergoes condensation and forms a liquid. This is all about steam injection type. Steam infusion type. It is actually a milk into steam arrangement. That is, we are injecting milk into steam. The main part is a chamber containing steam. Here we have a chamber containing steam. Here also we have a chamber containing steam. Okay. Milk can be introduced into the chamber in two different ways. We can introduce milk into the chamber in two different methods. This is the first method and this one is the second method. Okay. In the first method, actually we are placing a bowl on the top of the chamber. This bowl contains milk and when the bowl overflows, Milk raises the chamber as droplets. But in the second method, we place a set of horizontal parallel tubes above the chamber. And these tubes contain seeds at the bottom. So when milk passes through the tubes, it raises the chamber as a film. Here in the figure, you can see um, the milk is falling down in the chamber as a film. But in the first case, it is falling as droplet. Okay. And that is the difference between the two methods. This is all about steam infusion type. So now we have completed direct heating and we are moving on to indirect heating. So what is indirect heating? As I already told you, in indirect heating, milk and steam are not in direct contact. Okay. Here, there is an interfering medium in between milk and steam. For example, suppose this is milk and this is steam. There will be a medium in between milk and steam. Okay. Heat is transferred from steam to the medium and from the medium heat reaches the milk. There is no direct connection between milk and steam. Okay. Heat exchangers are normally used for indirect heating systems. For example, shell and tube heat exchanger or plate heat exchanger. In the case of shell and tube heat exchanger, there will be a shell and there will be tubes within the shell. One fluid will be passed through the tube while the other one will be passed through the shell. Uh, the point we have to note here is that milk and steam are not in direct contact. Uh, let us say milk is passed through the tube and uh, steam is passed through the shell. They are not in direct contact. One fluid is passed through the tube while the other one is passed through the shell. Okay. And in the case of a plate heat exchanger, here also uh, milk and steam are not kept in direct contact. Milk is passed through one side of the plate while steam is passed through the other side of the plate. So this is all about USD pasteurization.